Hello guys, today we will try to understand one of the important concept in quantum mechanics called quantum superposition. For that, I am going to use the results of Max Zender interferometer. As we know, the Max Zender interferometer is an uh, experiment that consists of single photon source, beam splitters, mirrors and detectors. Here I have two cases. In the first case, I have single photon source, one beam splitter and detectors. As we know, a single photon encounters the beam splitter, it will either transmitted or it will be uh, reflected and it has equal chance for both of them if you send 1000 photons and will get roughly 500 will reach d1 and 500 will reach to d2 now in the case 2 in addition to single photons uh, single one beam splitter i have two beam splitters now if i send 1000 photons through beams uh, through these uh, two beam splitters roughly thousands all of them will reach to d1 and none of them will reach to d2 why we will discuss so let me start the things with the double slit experiment so in double slit experiment um, as we know we have two slits and we have we are entering photons one by one through these uh, slits so suppose if i close the slit two and open only the slit one this will be the interference pattern this will be the intensity pattern on the screen now if we close the first slit and open the second slit now the maximum will be against the slit two and this is the intensity pattern on the screen now if i open both the slits and this is the resultant inter intensity pattern on the screen and this pattern is due to the interference of light that are reaching from both the slit s1 and s2 okay in if you see previous these cases case 1 and case 2 and this so this intensity pattern is a result of the particle nature of photon okay now so and here also we know through which slit the photons uh, are coming through now here in this case it is slit 1 and in this case slit 2 and in this case in this case we don't know through which way the photons are coming through Okay, so that's why we are getting the interference pattern that means the wave nature. Okay, so we, when we know the path of the photon, it exhibits particle nature. When we don't know, it exhibits the wave nature. Okay, actually beam Mike interferometer is the simplest version of double slit experiment. Okay, with the experiment with single beam splitter, again gives the particle nature. Since when D2, D1 clicks, we know it is coming it is transmitted photon when d2 clicks we know it is reflected photon we know the path of the photon that's why we are getting the particle nature okay when we don't know the path of the photon so that um, that is done with the help of uh, help of beam splitter 2 so by introducing the beam splitter 2 what actually we are doing we are uh, erasing the memory that means we we are erasing the particle uh, trajectory here for photon trajectory okay so uh, suppose if a photon reaches d1 it could have come this way means transmitted reflected or a photon can also reach d1 by this way also that means reflected transmitted both of them will go to d1 similar is the case for detector 2 it could have, a photon reaches d1 could have come through transmitted transmitted or reflected reflected okay now so the so here we don't have information exact means exact trajectory of the photon we don't know that's why we are getting the interference so as i discussed earlier almost all the photons are reaching detector 1 that means constructive interference is happening in detector 1 and destructive interference is happening in detector 2 okay by equation also we can uh, find uh, we, we can get the same results means uh, what i am going to do uh, what is the probability for a photon to reach d1 that i am going to find okay for that what i am going to do is let me choose another color okay let me put this 
this color okay so i am going to consider four region region one so our region after beam splitter one i am designated as region two region after after mirrors that means this region i am designating it as region three and this is my region four okay what is the part photon state in region one photon state in region one is x okay so when it crosses beam splitter one this x directed photon goes into equal superposition of x and y directed photon like this okay after crossing mirrors m1 and m2 so it be x directed photon become y directed photon and y directed photon become x directed and this imaginary number i here gives a phase factor means it gives additional phase to the y directed photon okay now uh, when the photon enters into the region 4 that means when it crosses through the beam splitter 1 each photon x and y directed photon is again going into su equal superposition state so that i am representing this way so now multiply this 1 by square root of 2 with each of the uh, square bracketed term now we will get four term and if you see out of this four term two will be cancelled it is 1 by 2 y here minus 1 by 2 y these two will be cancelled so in the result we will get all the state of the photon after crossing uh, beam splitter 2 it become this way so now the probability for detector 2 is 1 and probability for detector no for probability for detector 1 is 1 and probability for detector 2 is 0 2 is 0 now so here is the quantum circuit that demonstrate the quantum superposition very nice way using quantum computer this is a, a quantum computer so here the state in quantum computer always initialized with one of the quantum uh, computational basis state of zero now if this state act on the hadamard gate this hadamard gate will put this input state into equal superposition of zero and one state the state at this place now will be one by square root of two zero state plus one by square root of two one state so now if we make a measurement then we have a 50 percent of chance to measure zero and 50 percent of chance to measure one now this is exactly same as when we send a x directed photon into a beam splitter the beam splitter will put this x directed photon into an equal superposition of x directed and or y directed now it's this beam splitter job this hadamard gate job is exactly equal to the beam splitter one job now if we make a measurement we this is the counts output counts from uh, from this circuit now if we add one more hadamard gate it is like putting a, a second beam splitter and this and this uh, this deletes the information of which way which way so we here we should get the interference pattern like here you can see input we are saying we are initializing the state as zero and that is going to hadamard gate it's like beam splitter one now again the superposed state is going into the second hadamard gate or second beam splitter in this case now when we make the measurement this is our output this will be our output so all the all the measurements gives me zero it's like all the photons are going to d1 detector so let's simulate these results in a real quantum device real quantum device okay this is my ibm quantum circuit means uh, this is my ibm quantum 
account where I am going to simulate the uh, Alexander interferometer. Here, this quantum uh, circuit Q0 represents the input zero state. When we put a Hadamard gate, this zero state will now uh, will become equal superposition of zero and one state. Now, if we make a measurement. this will be our output zero 50 percent of chance for zero state and 50 percent of chance for one state now if we add second beam splitter with in this circuit here you can see all the states are measured as zero state which means all the photons are going to deductor one now if we Appoint a detector means if you place a detector to find which way to get the which way information means uh, if I put this put one detector in between these two beams later now the superposition state is now collapsed and it it exhibit a particle like behavior now and here the state here the state is projected to one of the state now if a whatever photon that reaches the second beam splitter it will show the particle like behavior only so to collapse the state it is not like we have to always measure the state even a single swap gate will work here let me demonstrate it by adding one more quantum register and here i am going to swap the state between these two beam splitter are these two Hadamard gate and measure the second um, and the state after the second Hadamard gate. Now you can see the superposition state is now collapsed and the state and the circuit exhibits the particle like behavior. That's all. Thank you.